right, welcome to the channel for the first time viewers welcome back from my existing subscribers i'm gonna try to make this video as quick as i can uh and to the point so essentially right now you guys you see a lot of tech tubers and a lot of youtubers saying don't buy graphics cards the price is dropping you should hold out right now the last time this happened and we had affordable gpus now granted this is still a little bit over msrp but right now i would consider them affordable the last time we had affordable GPUs was around summertime 2020. Um, and as y'all remember, as soon as the RTX 3000 series launched, we didn't have any GPUs to get. So my advice is kind of counter to what some of the tech tubers are saying. Not all of them. Some are like Daniel Owens is finding good deals and he's posting them. Um, he's an up and coming tech tuber, awesome channel. Um, I'll try to see if I can link them in the description. But one of the things he just posts deals, right? Which inspired me to start posting deals for my followers. But again, to the point, um, you're seeing a lot of people say, don't buy GPUs, uh, it's a little overpriced, RTX 4000 is coming, uh, AMD 60 or 6750, 6950, so that mid-generation mid refresh, or the RT, or RX 7000 is coming. So again, I would just urge you to remember what happened in 2020 when don't buy the RTX 2000 series. The 3000 will be out in September, and then we couldn't get them, right? So the 5800X 3D just came out, um, what, two days ago? It was available, it was actually available. So you were able to, to buy it, um, but immediately, like if you went back in, like let's say you were working or you were busy and you missed the initial launch and you went back in after, what you would notice is that all of the ones that were once available are right back on the market at 550 to 575. So they're all being scalped right now. And I don't think CPUs are a little different because like the 12900K was only getting scalped for like a month, right? And then it was pretty much available everywhere. So I would say again, with the graphics cards, even if you were to get a graphics card right now, and even if you paid 150 or even 200, which would say is, I would say is my max, especially with some of the deals uh, that are going on right now. Even if you paid a little bit more than the MSRP right now, you can always just remember that, hey, you can sell it off when you get your hands on another card down the line, especially if you're the type of person that needed an upgrade. Maybe you're coming from the GTX uh, generation, maybe you had a GTX 900 uh, series, or you had a GTX 10, 1070, 1060, 1080 even. Um, at this point, you have 3060s that are pretty much performing at about what a GTX 1080 was, but with the ray tracing features, the DLSS, so if you turn any of those features on, you're getting more performance than you would minus ray tracing. Now, obviously, that's a bad example there, but if you turn on DLSS, you're gonna get more performance than you would with your traditional um, GTX 1080, right? So again, if you are in the market for a graphics card, just go ahead and get it. Uh, I know a lot of people are saying, don't do it. Uh, but again, these are also the same people that are saying, hold off until the next generation comes out. I'm more of the, a bird in the, in the hand is worth more than two in the bush. So you can actually get your hands on one and you can get the model that you like. So even if you spent like that extra 150, 200 I was talking about, and it's the model that you like, uh, I would prefer that versus kind of holding off to see what comes in the future and then being stuck with another card and then running into potential issues as these newer games are more demanding. You already see what happened with Cyberpunk, Watch Dogs, games like that. They're struggling on even, even new cars that hit over like 100 FPS, right? And if you lower some settings, you can get some performance. But if you have an older card, you're like struggling to hit 60 FPS. Um, so again, that's just my advice to y'all. Do it. It's your money. Um, just keep in mind that a lot of times people say, hold off, hold off, hold off. But again, um, I, think we're, I think we're far enough out that if you were to pick up a card, it wouldn't be a waste of money. And even if you sold it for like half of what you paid to get something newer, I know you're spending twice which isn't ideal, but you'd at least have some kind of uh, enhancement to the performance that you have until then. So it wouldn't just be, you know, um, I'm spending now and then I'm gonna go up like 15 FPS later, right? You can get, you can make a significant upgrade later if cards are readily available. So that's all I got for this video. I'll let y'all be easy.